What up, you sexy motherfuckers? I am making this video to help you guys level up uh, Monk in the fresh new season. This is going to be focused around group play. Um, so you will have like three or four other, well, two or three other players um, in the group with you. So the main things that you need to really focus on is, uh, well, uh, rubies. Uh, so you want rubies in your weapons and helmet. Uh, emeralds in your like uh, chest and legs and even like uh, rings and accessories like that there are two ways to go about leveling up a monk in a group especially you can be just straight damage or you can play kind of a support little role um, to help the group uh, do that damage um, that's my preferred way because the monk has EP um, the cold and lightning EP is just really good for leveling, um, mass area damage and stuff like that. Um, but I'll be showing you the damage side and the supportish side, which can still do damage. Um, the bit, the most easiest way to level is just by doing straight rifts. Um, that way it doesn't get too complicated. Uh, you get plenty of gear. You get a little bit bit of time between rifts to kind of like um, upgrade your items, um, swap over, get the materials that you need, and whatever stuff like that so every starting from level eight uh every five levels or so might be a little bit more might be a little bit less you want to be creating two-handed axes they're going to give you the most damage out of each attack that you're going to get so going to the blacksmith crafting them make sure you train up your blacksmith every time that you can to get the higher level items um from there starting off at level seven your primary attack should be fist of thunder the thunderclap rune uh with lashing tail kick vulture claw um and then you got the straight flash with no rune there when you get to level 10 you want to be going to some of the vendors checking out what rings they have the rings that you're looking for uh will have uh damage on it just straight damage that is probably one of the most important stats that you you will want on your gear on your weapons on your rings uh, that's what the rubies are for while leveling. Um, don't worry about like crit damage, crit chance. That's not really going to matter too much when you're under 70 and not have the right gear or skills. So just going for straight damage is your key. So trying to find rings um, from Act 1, any act split up um, is going to be preferred. So from there, level 15, you're going to keep your primary Fist of Thunder. Um... The Lashing Tail Kick is going to swap to the Armada skill rune. Uh, you still got the Flash um, and then Dashing Strike. For the very first passive at level 10, we're going to be using the Fleet Footed passive because speed is really key. Uh, just like with the Dashing Strike, you're going to be staying with the Falling Star rune the whole entire time. So you won't really have to worry about that. Um, at level 15, also the Cyclone Strike you get. Um, so that's just going to be the straight up uh, rune for now, just to pull mobs together so you can, um, so your group can help you destroy them uh, in quick fashion. And again, when you go back to town, make sure that just check if there's an axe, two handed axe that you can upgrade. If not, then just go straight into the next one. Still upgrading your items every time you get an upgrade and stuff like that. At level 20, the. Uh, primary will be swapping to Crippling Wave Mangle. Uh, the right click or whatever. These skills aren't in specific order. This is just how I like to do them. There's two options here. You can either use a Lashing Tail Kick Armada Rune still. Or EP Flesh. Okay, Flesh of the Week. Um, I like to go the Flesh. It's more the support roll type thing. Gives that area damage. Makes them take more damage. Um, the... Next skill you have, uh, you can either use the Flash Self-Reflection or you can use EP again. Uh, you got the Dashing Strike and Cyclone Strike again. At level 20, you also get uh, the second passive skill. So you can, for this one, depending on how your uh, spirit is going, you can either use Exalted Soul, Chant of Resonance, or Seize the Initiative. Either of those are uh, pretty good. Um, so if you're having f having no problems with 
uh, Spirit, then you can go with Chant of Resonance or Seize the Initiative. Um, if you're having problems, then probably go with Exalted Soul and uh, probably stick with Fleet Footed. Unless uh, your group is moving very slowly, then you don't really have to go ahead, do you? So, um, passives are really up to you, uh, but they're the ones that I recommend for now. Uh, when we get to level 25, you're going to be swapping LTK if you are using that, going up for straight damage for Wave of Light, Explosive Light. It's a great area damage thing, um, big, uh, pretty big radius as well, um, so that's pretty good. Um, you stick with the Flash or EP in the second spot. Uh, Dashing Strike stays the same and Cyclone Strike. Uh, this time you can use Implosion. Uh, you get that at the level 25. You also get access to the Mantra of Retribution. Uh, this will help the damage increase. Um, so it's recommended to use that. Once you hit level 30, make sure that all your items are up to date and everything like that. If you have any legendaries, make sure they're equipped, especially if they give you special affixes. Even if they're a lower level, sometimes they're worth keeping, keeping on. Um, next, at level 30, you can either use, for the Crippling Wave, you can either use still the Mangle Rune, or you can swap to Concussion, depending on your group survivability. Concussion helps... Uh, enemies deal 20% less damage for 3 seconds so that could be useful um, but seeing as we're trying to go up for straight damage I would recommend the mangle unless you need the concussion uh, the next skill stays the same wave of light or EP uh, with the flash you can swap to the uh, replenishing light if you need that more spirit if you don't um, then you can just use straight up EP or the self reflection doesn't really matter uh, if you're not using flash you can use pretty much whatever you like to use um, but I'd recommend EP if you're not using it dashing strike stays the same and cyclone strike implosion as well when you reach level 30 you get your third passive skill bonus for this one uh, you should still be using a two-handed axe Unless you've picked up like a legendary weapon or something like that. But I would use the Guardian's Path. It increases spirit generation by 15%, which is perfect. For what we want, casting EP, casting that wave of light if you're using it, so on and so forth. When we get to level 36, this is where it changes a little bit. Uh, Mangle Concussion stays the same. A wave of light, uh, explosive light, EP this time, you can change it to Doom. This is a cold skill rune. Um, it's a massive weapon damage bonus uh, when they explode. So make sure you group them together with Cyclone Strike, Implosion, and then cast EP on a weak one and watch them go boom. So <clears throat> make sure you have EP, that Doom, that's a really big bonus, really helps your skills. And this, you can use Fire Ally if you're going for straight up damage as well. Um, it increases the damage of you, not really your um, group. So depending on how you're feeling with your overall damage and the group's damage, you can use that. Uh, I don't know what you would really swap out. It's complete, completely your preference. And also you get um, the Mantra of Conviction overall. overall. <laughs> um, that one I would recommend using, or you can stick to Mantra of Retribution and use... Let me find it. Uh, the Retaliation Rune. Uh, no, Transgression Rune. That's the one. Uh, for the attack speed. Um, especially if you're playing with two monks. Um, it should be simple as. Leveling should be super easy. Uh, when we get to level 44. Uh, this is where you get the Shock EP. So it's completely your preference. Again, if you want the Cold or the Lightning. Lightning has a bit more area um yeah mass area damage so if you're killing stuff pretty quickly you can just use that and it'll blow almost the entire screen not really but you know what i mean um and pretty much everything else stays the same you can swap the flash to the air ally um because that way you get constant spirit regeneration rather than having to wait for the blinding flash to come back up 
Uh, but other than that, all the other skills stay the same. When you hit level 57, this is when you upgrade your skills again. Crippling Wave still with either Mangle or Breaking Wave. Breaking Wave increases uh, enemies damage taken by 10% for 3 seconds. So that will help the entire group, which is pretty good. Or you can stick to straight damage for yourself, which is Mangle. Um, the Wave of Light also changes to the Pillar of the Ancients. Um, that one's the most uh, powerful Wave of Light there is. Uh, a little less area damage, but... Is completely up to you. You can even stick with explosive light if you want to. And then from then on, your skills sh will pretty much stay the same. You can tweak them depending on what you need. If you need more damage, if you need more spirit regen, stuff like that. Uh, I've gone through some different skills that will give you more damage, that will give you more spirit regen. So pick and choose from them. <clears throat> what I'll be using will be Crippling Wave, Breaking Wave. Uh... I'll be using EP Doom or Shock. I haven't really re figured that out yet. It'll be depending on how my group's going. It will be Air Ally, Dashing Strike, Falling Star, Cyclone Strike, Implosion, and uh, Mantra of Conviction overall. Uh, so that's going to be my build once I reach level... Well, I can pretty much use that once I reach level 44. That's going to help my group. I'm pretty sure with my group, we're going to be running two Monk, two Witch Doctor. So there's going to be plenty of damage to go around. I can pretty much support a little bit. I've gone through the passives that will kind of help. The items is completely up to you guys. Make sure you're trying to go for the straight up damage. And upgrade it whenever you can. Get as much dexterity as possible. As much vitality as possible. Don't worry too much about crit damage, crit chance. And good luck guys. So, to recap some important points, uh, EP is probably the best monk skill for leveling. You want to keep that in your build no matter how you use it. If you're going straight up damage, if you're going more of a support type role, uh, use it. It doesn't matter what rune, use it. Cyclone Strike is fairly important. You don't have to use it, but it's very helpful. With uh, the passives and stuff, Spirit Regen if you need it, otherwise... Just movement speed really helps. Items, you're going up straight damage. Uh, so dexterity and damage plus, whatever. Your most important gems are your rubies and emeralds to bump up that damage even more. Help the group out killing stuff. So it should be nice and easy to level. Should get to level 70 in the matter of 3 to 4 hours if you're doing it right. If your group's pretty good. Um... Uh, that might be a little bit quick. I should say three to maybe six hours, um, depending on what gear you get and stuff like that. And then you can start hitting the greater rifts. Make sure you check out the vendors quite often. Upgrading your rings and amulets will generate a big boost. Uh, go to the blacksmith uh, every five to eight levels, upgrading that two-handed axe. Uh, if you've stuck around this far, I want to say thank you all for watching. Uh, leave a comment down below on... If you like this video or not, what I should change, how I should construct my videos. Um, if you've got any suggestions for builds, link it down below or comment down below. Let uh, Help other people level up as fastly as you do. That would be a great help. Smash that like button if you enjoyed. Smash that dislike if you didn't. But I'll see you guys next time. Bye.